yo guys feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the intro and this game here is against Ari so I go Conqueror Triple Haste the normal setup that I do and then I rush Axiom I was trying out Hubris second into Profane into Grudge and then probably into Edge of Night but yeah um, against Ari usually you want to go Electrocute but this season or Splits rather I haven't been having much success with it and I just don't like the rune in general so I like going Conqueror and yeah let's see how this game went so I end up going for this ward at 120 because I had control over the right side bush. As always, be careful um, going for this ward because if the support is in the bush next to it, then you could get like poked down. You know, they usually let you walk forwards and then they poke you down a bunch as you walk away. But right here, it's just a classic Zed versus Mage matchup. But against Ari in specific, you have to stand a bit further out from his auto attack. So like I'm standing right here, this is a good range to stand on. Because his W will give him movement speed, so he can walk up and use auto attacks. And you want to make sure you can't let him, uh, especially auto and then W and auto. You don't want to let him do that, so yeah. And use your Q defensively for when he walks up. You can hold your Q, and then when he walks up to try and W, you can Q right before he reaches you and your auto attack, or his auto attack range. Because what Ari really wants to do is just to walk up and then use auto, W, auto. Uh, especially level 1, so you can kind of use that against him with your Q range. But in general, as you can see, it's just the classic matchup where you can't really play too aggressive. You want to farm, you want to just chill and wait for first recall. And here, I probably shouldn't go for that CS because I end up taking more poke than I should. And that's a CS that I should uh, concede, so it's good to be wary of that kind of thing. In the early game, it's all about choosing which CS to concede and which ones to go for. Um, so you don't take too much damage. Because the goal is to get at least, I would say, 650 gold. Or if you're going Eclipse, you can go 700. Okay, wait. Let me just see. Okay. Basically, what he did there, he used Charm already. So I can go up and use my Ignite. And then use WQW. And then my Qs come out faster. So his Flash comes out a bit late. So that works out well. And then right here, um, I have to just hold the wave. I know he's going to Flash and TP. So I start pinging my jungler to come and help me. Because this is a free kill. Especially because I'm going to get level 4, which makes me a lot more powerful uh, compared to Ari. I just need to make sure I don't take poke before he ganks. So I place the W and I hit the EQ. And I start pinging on my W. So that's something you should do when you know that your jungler is coming in. You can use a W preemptively just to get a good position and like shove the enemy towards your jungler. So right there I did it on the left to shove my uh, the Ari back to the right. And we kill him like that. And this early game ends up going pretty well. We get a decent recall. I can base and buy pickaxe and boots. So I want to show you guys how to kind of push your advantage and get some more XP lead. Right now I'm one level up. I know I can take this W and maybe trade a bit. So I can use the minion to tank the charm. And that's fine. But right now he's going to base because I know that he's pretty low and he wants to. And the next cannon is a cannon wave. Or the next wave is a cannon wave. Which is very important. Because I can just hold it like this. If he stays, we can threaten to kill him. And if he doesn't, then we're just going to freeze and hold the wave. And only last hit. Right there, I don't kill that minion because I know that it hasn't aggroed it onto it. And then I do. But either way, we just freeze. And if I forward it a bit, I get level 6. Forward it a bit more. The cannon is dead. You know, there's only two mage minions left from that wave right there. And now he comes back. I'm level 6. And now I can threaten him because the wave is on my side of the lane. As Rakan just does that, which is fine. So I can walk up, use my WEQ, just like that. Take a small trade. And then when you walk away from Ari after taking your W, you need to be really careful because his charm is a longer range than your ult. So if you run outside of your ult range, but in his charm range, he can charm you and you might die. So that's something to be very careful of when you're using your W forwards against Ari. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just like, you know, slow pushing the wave. Right here I can push this one because I see Kha'Zix on the grubs. And yeah, so if Kha'Zix wasn't on grubs, I'd probably threaten a lot harder onto this Ari. And just you keep using WEQ and slowly pushing it in without hitting the wave. And that's kind of a way to play and like bully the mages or bully champs that you're ahead against. So right here, Kha'Zix jumps over and I know our red buff is up. So I'm thinking, well, I want to take the full plant because I don't want to die. <laughs> and we take the grub. And then I realize he's probably on the red. So we walk over. Belveth also pinged it. I'm thinking he might not stand in that bush. So I W, which is kind of a mistake. But yeah. And then I use my Qs. I ult, I ignite, and he dies. Um, because I got all my 
basically most of my combo off and it was good enough and i'm able to go back to lane and get the wave right here i have axiom boots and refillable and i get the push i see something happening bot and i'm pretty sure it's a good move because i can get there quite quickly with the plant so i just keep moving i keep committing to it and i'm thinking maybe it's not good actually but then Ari teleports so it ends up being fine that i move because i can maybe kill Ari. we ult i saw him use charm and then i just combo him as well as he goes in and i kind of save the belveth which is very important and we get shove on bot as well and also when I'm moving back to mid, I'm calculating, okay, you know, their death timers are pretty high-ish. And I can get to mid, I can push this wave, but I want to push the next wave as well. You know, just pushing this wave is not enough because the wave is already settled for about, you know, 15 seconds or something. So we don't want to push the next wave right here. And I knew I had enough time to shove it in. And a rookie mistake after doing this is taking the plating when I already need to base because I've overstayed quite hard. So if I walked up and tried to take the plating... Ari would have seen me, would have cancelled my base, etc, etc. So don't be too greedy to get the platings and make sure you just give them up if you need to. So right here, I get a bit impatient because I'm like, I don't want this guy to get the cannon. So I'm just going to ult him. <laughs> and then he uses charm and I'm like, okay, well, there's still a way to kill him. Perhaps if I take my ult shadow, I use my W forwards to hit two Qs. Then if he walks on my E, which he does, I have conk stack. So I take the W, I flash, I auto, and then I Q as it's coming up. Spam it as soon as possible because he hits the charm on me. And I'm able to Q before um, the charm hits, which is great. And we get a kill. And we get the shove. Karzix is bot. So we know that we can hit the tower and also get a plating or two. Right here, as I'm pushing, I see Karzix on the Hextech gate go by. So I saw him appear on the thing. And then I looked and I was like, okay. That's pretty free. He's probably taking red again. And I'm thinking, oh, this is kind of deja vu. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, maybe I need Orn. But it's fine. We just W, E, we Q. We take the red buff first. So we make sure we can secure that. And he doesn't get too much XP. Then we use our Qs on him right there after his E. And as I'm coming back to mid, I'm thinking about how to kill Ari. Because I have a lot of haste, maybe I should start using W, W, E. So I just W, W, E, and then I Q. And then I E again, and I auto. And my W's coming back up. He doesn't expect it. So I just walk up, and I use W, Q. W to get the Q out faster. Luckily, he doesn't use his ult because he's a noob. And we get another kill. Um, and then we take the tower. So this thing about my build is kind of something I like where I can have a lot of haste, you know, just on Axiom and like Warhammer and use my W, W, Auto E and then E again. You know, I have four points in E, so it's pretty decent at level 12. I feel like, you know, I like my build, but yeah. Right here, I have Hubris and Axiom and I see Jinx. So I just go in straight away with W, E, Q. And I take the W and I auto E and then I ult on the Alistar combo. So that's my that was my plan before going in. But then Karzik shows up and then I realize maybe I can still live if I E them both. And then I get my W back and a W over, which is actually very lucky, but easy peasy. Right here, I'm shoving mid and I know that Ari is coming from the right. I'm pretty sure he has an ult up. So I'm just going to use my W there, walk out the bush and then take my W, use Q. Rakan flashes from downtown and we kill him for free. So my Rakan ends up getting caught or, you know, he tries to engage, but we don't really have damage and we're outnumbered. But also, I kind of still want to fight because we should still be strong as a team. But as I'm walking up, I'm thinking, OK, this is a really good one ult position. But then I realize, oh, wait, his ult is down, which is really bad for us because he's just going ham. And I know that I'm going to probably die. <laughs> but the Malphite ults me. And then I use my W back. I ult the Kha'Zix. And I realize he's going straight for me there. So I just flash after. He flashes on me. So I just take my ult shadow. And I take my... Yeah. I just auto E and then run away. Somehow I'm able to survive. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, I think the Alistar saved me by hitting me away. And yeah. We basically kill a bunch of people. Right here we're sieging. So I'm just chasing down the Ari. I'm like come here. And then he ults. But I'm thinking we could probably still kill her because she's trying to queue the wave. And we ult onto her like this. And then we chase her down. And we kill her. We take some towers. And I'm like, I don't want to end. So I'm just going to run away. <laughs> I want this game to continue. But then nothing really much else happens. And we're pushing to end the game. On ult. But, you know, you want to stay really, really careful. And play really, really slow when you're at the Nexus Towers. You don't want to tank and dive towers like Rakan is doing right there. Just want to do it nice and slowly. But yeah, we basically end the game. I use W, I ult on Jinx, and then I flash away from the Malphite ult. Or I flash in and then I ult out. And the game is over, so thanks so much for watching, and I hope it was useful. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.